Bosnia, Croatia. The world is tired of hearing about the endless conflicts there. Yet how is it that nearly six years after the start of the breakup of Yugoslavia, that the predicted scenario of a whole-scale Balkan Holocaust has been avoided? Kosovo is a little-known region in the former Yugoslavia. There, the Serb minority has created a ghetto state of flagrant human rights abuses against the 2.2 million ethnic Albanians. The Albanians have maintained a peaceful, unarmed resistance through six years of so-called quiet ethnic cleansing, in contrast to the confrontations and violence of the wars in Bosnia and Croatia. Diplomats and the world community count heavily on the non-violent strategy of the Albanians. Yet, at the same time, they grant the beleaguered Albanians no open acknowledgement of their plight, nor any hope for a solution. It's time for this double standard to end. This 73-year-old Albanian woman comes from a small mountain village in Kosovo. This is her account of a random house search in the summer of 1993. Some 60 Serb policemen surrounded the house. They came unexpectedly. My two sons were out in the fields. The police came into the courtyard where three women and five children were. They ordered everyone to sit down at machine gun point. They took my daughter-in-law and pushed her with the gun barrel. They asked her, where are the weapons? We told them we had one hunting rifle, but they didn't believe us. The children were crying. The police tore everything in the house apart, breaking glass, knocking over furniture. When they left, they told me my sons had better come to the police station when they got home and to bring weapons. My son had to go buy a handgun for $300 to give them. If he didn't bring one, they would have beaten him. I didn't care for myself, but I was afraid for the children who were terrified. We tried to keep calm, but the machine guns scared them. Now they can't sleep and have nightmares. Random house searches by military police are common occurrences in Kosovo. And in a country where 50% of the t population is under age 18, children serve a role as witnesses to ethnic violence. They are also sometimes its victims. Albanians are a little-known ethnic group living in the Southwest Balkans, primarily in Albania, Kosovo, Macedonia, and Montenegro. They are a people divided by a mountainous geography and political divisions into these four countries, each of which faces serious difficulties. In Albania, for example, Severe poverty and a collapsed infrastructure characterize a country struggling to emerge from 40 years of harsh repression under their former dictator, Enver Hoxha. A closed culture and a unique language further serve to isolate modern-day Albania from the outside world. In Tirana, the capital of Albania, while students may lack learning materials and other resources, they nevertheless have the freedom to learn, read, travel, and play. Yet, just across the border in Kosovo, none of this is possible for the ethnic Albanian children there. <laughs> 